And joining us now to talk in more detail about building beef demand is Mike Miller, Senior Vice President of Global Marketing and Research. Mike, tell us just a little bit about uh, your responsibilities on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, I've got about uh, 50 or 55 people that work in uh, research, promotion, consumer information, and industry information each and every day on behalf of the Beef Checkoff, um, trying to keep beef top of mind with consumers, top of mind with retailers and food service operators. Um, so working across a whole host of areas that uh, really help uh, demonstrate beef's worth and beef's value to uh, today's consumers. And the culinary team is just one of those teams that you mentioned, but why is their work so important, do you think? Well, again, keeping beef top of mind, this is a group of people that really work each and every day to try to find new and innovative ways to keep beef on the top of the recipe list. So they do an awful lot of work across a whole host of different areas, but really their, their primary job each and every day is to try to find new and innovative ways, creative ways to, to help consumers choose beef more often. Mm -hmm. And tell us uh, maybe a couple of examples or some specifics about how specifically the work that gets done here generates more beef demand. Well, there's probably a, a, a couple of different things. You know, first and foremost is recipe development. So we've got a number of folks that, that, that look an awful lot of, of market-related research, look at kind of food industry trends, and then try to take um, a lot of different and various beef cuts and try to put those into kind of today's um, recipe development, if you will. So we do an awful lot of research and development as it relates to recipes, mm -hmm. um, which is just kind of a constant job. It's something that they're trying to do, you know, each and every day that they're here. Um, and we're also looking at innovative ways to prepare beef. Um, some of the work that we've done here recently, um, believe it or not, is all around frozen ground beef. Mm -hmm. How do you get frozen ground beef to the table more quickly, more easy. Uh, so it's, it's just an awful lot of work that, that, um, that they do each and every day trying to help consumers be able to choose beef more often and uh, in probably a little more convenient manner. As you know, Mike, um, every producer has his or her own opinion about how beef checkoff dollars should be spent. What do you say to the producer who says, is this a really good use of our checkoff dollars? Well, it's a good question. Uh, all those are good questions. I think that um, the, the thing to keep in mind with today's consumers is they've got a lot of questions. Um, we try to answer those questions in a number of different ways. This group of people that work in our culinary center try to answer questions related to how to prepare beef. What, what, uh, what kind of recipe can I use this beef item that I just purchased at the retail store? How can I utilize that? Um, and, and how do I fit beef into a healthful diet each and every day? So um, this group plays a primary role in making sure that we have answers for consumers. And that's really, it kind of goes across all of the different areas that I work with is, is going to those questions and trying to find answers for consumers when they have them. Mike, we've seen uh, record high retail beef prices, but frankly, record high profitability this last year for many segments of the beef industry. What do you see ahead for the beef demand? Well, I think, we're in, I think we're in really good shape, Kevin. I think that we certainly have enjoyed a nice run in beef demand the last several years. Retail beef prices, wholesale beef prices, again, cattle prices at record high levels. So I think everybody throughout the chain um, is, is doing relatively well. I, I think that our continued challenge that is in front of us today, probably be there tomorrow, is just to continue to innovate, continue to have those research and development um, items and issues that are there for consumers. Um, I'm excited about the work that this team does and the rest of the team does, and so I think that we're up for the challenge and, and certainly um, the good work that producers do back home to make sure that we're providing that healthful and, and wholesome product each and every day for not only U.S. consumers, but consumers around the world. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing a few minutes with us today. Absolutely.